know, how are you feeling about this season there with the, with the, the table being so tight? Yeah, I think, you know, you have a look at this division and everyone beats um, everyone in it. You only have to look at Newcastle going to Scunthorpe and, and losing there. So, you know, it's, it's good to get up there, but as you say, it's only early doors yet. There's plenty of games to play. Everybody's saying that you're either, you're only two wins away from being at the top, uh, the, you know, into the playoffs, but only two losses away from being relegation. Yeah, zone. it is. Like, but, you know, you know most I, of teams are like that. I think we've gone 11 unbeaten now as well. And then yeah. to know if you're just lost a couple of games, you can drop back down into the, the bottom half of the table, yeah. you know, it's mad. You, you're on loan from Bristol City back to Swansea FC. Do you feel, I mean, do you feel like you never went away? Do you feel like a Swansea player? Yeah, you know, it, it, I went to Bristol and it never worked out for me there. At the time, you know, it was the right move for me because it was the division above and, you know, I've always wanted to play at the highest level. But, you know, that's football. Some, some things happen like that. You go and it doesn't work out. So... I'm glad to be back at Swansea and enjoying my football well, again. The thing is, you said it you know, didn't work out at Bristol City. You are still a Bristol City player, though. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, the, the start of the season, I never, I never featured. You know, last season, I started four games. So, you know, I'm hoping I can go to Swansea and, you know, get back in the side there and hopefully earn a contract there. Were you welcome back with open arms? Because some Swansea fans were a bit gutted when they left, obviously. I think the... The more you do well at a club, the more gutted they are when you leave. So, you know, it's it wasn't nice for them at that point. But then, you know, when I come back, all the fans were brilliant. Everyone welcomed me back into the city and everything. So, you know, it was uh, I got a good reception. What's, Sorry, you go. Oh, so what's changed at the club since you've been away? Because it doesn't take long, does it? No, it doesn't. It's, it's changed for the better, though. You know, we've got a new training ground. Um, all the facilities off the pitch and everything. And, you know, I think this is the highest... Um, place we've been in like 26 years something like that so you know on the field it's going well the gap of power too says he gives out fact sheets to each player on opposing yeah we we get a sheet of um you know the strengths and weaknesses of every other player who we play against and we watch a video of them as well so he's very thorough on stuff like that he does look so into what does it say does it say really fast good at shooting yeah it's yeah it's 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 if you read the sheet too much you can get a bit scared really at it because <laughs> You know, I think it'd be go overboard a little bit, but that's just to keep you on your toes. And for a player like you, wouldn't you say, look, I don't want a fact sheet on them, they need to have a fact sheet on me? I think it's, you know, every player's different, so you take what you want from it. If you've got all that information there, you take what you need from it. And, you know, but some people like to look at it because they like to see who the opponents are and others just like to have a, have a little look, but then just worry about their own game. Have you ever picked one up? Yeah, well, you do because it depends who watches them on the day as well. So, you know, they could watch them in them couple of games and they have a great game, or they could be a, a good player who they watch them and they have a bad game. So, you know, you've just got to judge it on the day as well. Um, hey, your manager was a bit of a legend in his playing days as well. Do you have a little bit of a showboat off in training? Yeah, he still joins in. He's a good player, actually, yeah. still. I love um, that when managers still join in with the training. I'll say, yeah, I'll show. Stand still, don't move, here you go. Yeah, you that's know, right. He doesn't join in with the running and everything, but when we have a little five aside, he's straight in yeah. there. And has he chatted to you? Has he sort of said, look, you're definitely in the plans, I want you to get in the first team? Um, no, as I say, I'm only on loan until January. So um, I have spoke to him about that, and, you know, he, he knows that I want to stay at the club, and, you know, it's a club that I love, so I'd like to finish my career there. So hopefully um, I can get back in the side, get a few goals, and secure that. Yeah, this is the fittest I've been. You know, as I've got a bit older, I've got to work hard off the field and, you know, because I want to play as long as possible. So um, that's something that I've been working hard on. Well, thanks very much. Lee Trumbull, everybody.